past video, we created customer underscore churn dot CSV and it was a join between customer and customer churn as customer dot CSV and churn dot CSV and this was the output. In this video, I'm going to create an experiment where I'm going to use customer underscore churn data set and create SPSS kind of a model wherein you can predict the customer churn. In order to do that, go to assets in your project, click on add to project and modeler flow. Clicking on this, it's going to open a platform, a page wherein you would need to put in the name of the flow. It's going to take some time. So you can say BDCS. So this is uh, experiment, or I would say modeler flow. And then click on modeler flow, and then runtime is SPSS modeler. You can also do the Spark, but for now, I'm just going to do the SPSS modeler and then click on create. It's going to take some time to create this flow. But once it's created, it's going to open an SPSS screen looking like very similar looking to SPSS screen. So you have this uh, screen. Let us get really familiar. On the left hand side, you would see import record operations, field record operations, graphs, modeling, output, and export. So for now, I'm going to go to the import. I'm going to get the data set. So you can see there is a small uh, a circle, which is a connector link. I'm going to show you this. And then these are the properties for open, disconnect, edit, preview, and stuff. So for now, I'm going to double click this data asset. And on the right hand side, it opens up the property. I'm going to click on this change data asset. And on the left hand side, I'm going to get customer churn. Click on OK. So you can see that customer churn churn.csv is created. And then click on save to save this. So from the field operations, drag and drop partition over here. And then from the data, connect like this. A link is created. Double click the partition. And then it's basically the training and testing split. So I'm going to take the data set and split it into training and part training and testing. So I'm going to say 80, 20. That's and then I'm just going to say save. Next, I'm going to get the type again from the field operations and drop it over here. Now, I'm going to connect this with the type. Double click this type and click on read values. Click on read values for ID, set the role as none and check as discard. For churn, this is going to be our target variable. That means we're going to target or find out the churn flag. So I'm going to say input target. So role set to target and click on save. And that's it. The next step is from the modeling options, expand this. There are multiple types of functions or algorithms available. For now, we are going to select CNR tree and drag and drop over here. Connect the type to the CNR tree. And you can see that the name itself turns into churn. The target is set to 
churn and then click on save here just click on the run button so that this flow can be run take some time and then as a model crt which is churn is generated from the palettes from the outputs add analysis on the right side and on the graphs i'm going to add distribution from the churn here connect to analysis and from here connect to distribution so both of them are now connected now on the dub an analysis double click it and just check all the four boxes and click on save so repeat double click analysis check all the four boxes let everything be as it is and click on save rerun the entire flow one more time an error for the graph doesn't matter because we have not configured the distribution graph that's perfectly fine for now so double click on analysis and uh, and scroll at the bottom click on add columns and then car partition churn and r churn so so churn and r churn means churn is from the input and dollar r churn means what it gives you as an output the model so click on ok and click on save and you can see the details of analysis double click the distribution graph and in the field select id and col color as dollar churn also select churn and r churn in the field and discrete and click on save and run the flow again this time you will not get an error for the graph that means we have executed and configured graph as well once this is run you can see that in the outputs pane in the outputs you can see analysis churn or the distribution and this is what it tells you that for churn actual for true and this is false sorry false and true this is these many times it's correct and these many times it's not correct and same here it is false not true sorry so for false these many times it predicts true for false churn this is prediction I repeat it tells you on this small section over here that the actual churn is false but the model predicts true but for the majority of the section where the churn is false the prediction is also false and here it tells you that for the, the actuals in the data which is true it predicts true for most of the cases except for these many so obviously there is a method of improving the performance which we will improve the performance of the model which we can discuss later but this is what the distribution graph will tell you so this flow has been worked out just click on uh, the the save here then you can use this deploy the model so for deployment of model we have another video but this is how you can create our experiments and then please feel free to uh, explore a lot of uh, various models which have been written over here already so thank you for watching uh, this uh, just to let you know that the experiment what you created is now available over here under the experiments the modeler floors here and this is the customer churn modeler flow available to you with that uh, thank you for watching 
and uh, in the next video we are going to show you how to deploy models like this thank you for watching